No need to water this garden. In today's Thrifty Thursday segment, Rachel Monick shows us a colorful, colorful garden decorated with found objects, from broken plates to empty beer cans. We're behind Persimmon Studio in downtown Manitowoc, and look at the art in the garden. Of course, she's going to have art in the garden. This is our thrifty crafter, Kim Geyser. Hi. This is your little Welcome. oasis. Yes. I love it back here. It's so cute, and you have all sorts of treasures to look at. I but do. we're going to highlight a few of them that you've done yourself that are very thrifty. Yes. Very and easy, very simple, very with anything that you have around the house. Such as your bird bath. My little mosaic bird bath. Um, breaking plates is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Take out your aggressions. <laughs> and just with supplies from the um, home improvement store, you're really just using the same stuff that you grout any tile with. Okay, and but you you're going to find stuff, at the, the old dishes that you have or that you find at the thrift store, break them up and, and just... I even stuck some figurines in there so that the birdies have a little place to perch themselves when Speaking they come and visit. Speaking of birdies, yes. look at the wall back here. What did you do here? <laughs> um, I just cut, you can cut soda cans with just a scissors, maybe one that you don't use for, you know, good things. But I just cut out little bird shapes and wings and I just nailed them right on the fence. Really cute. And then over here, I love this, your, your wall garden. Yeah, that uh, was just, I actually used that the last few years to keep my garden tools in. Okay. But there's no holes, so I, it, they would get rusty. So I, this year I thought, huh, I think I'll just plant in it, and I love it. It's darling. It's uh, darling. And one of my favorite things in your garden are these mushrooms. You have a little mushroom garden here. I do. And isn't that fun? I just love color. And, um... Because I like to grow a lot of green things, I don't often have too many flower flowers in the garden, so it's a perfect way to just bring color. And they are so simple, so inexpensive. They are thrifty. We're going to show you how she did this and how you can add these mushrooms to your garden in our next segment on Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for coming.